VIP signatures. Now we'll have the presentation of Ling and Peace and Get Fire. Yes, guess what one man can get on the line. You can participate only one day on this inaugural day. We can demo how to speak on the video. That's the idea. We are ready to uh, share our knowledge to you to take the video classes. The uh, manuscript we will read you and then we will communicate with you again. And uh, after the finishing steps, then we are ready to record your video. Respected. Chief guest of today's function, Sri Anibonta Singh, former chairperson, the entire production team with technical expertise. Like you have a producer, uh, then the cameraman, uh, the technicians of light and sound, then graphic designers, etc., who uh, is involved with the editing process. So here in this uh, program, we'll be focusing on how to make a uh, presentation of video lectures. Now, and the editing process afterwards. Now, video lectures are the central component of online teaching. I'll be sharing with you, I and my colleague will be sharing with you my experience. And many of us in the teaching fraternity are still clueless as to how to go about it. So luckily, few of my colleagues and I have been involved in giving online lectures and also conducting online certificate courses with EMRC, Manipur University, under Swayam. Invitees and my dear colleagues. So during this juncture of global crisis and COVID-19, where all the educational institutions have been shut down, I find this particular program, that is faculty development program on enhanced capacity building post-COVID strategy to be very relevant and even very encouraging also, as this is, as this is targeted towards to benefit the students' community and especially the students of S. Lohman College also. So today I came down here to share some few of my experience with books and Swayam. As Swayam, you can achieve high quality learning experience using multimedia on any time, anywhere basis. And it also allows easy access, monitoring and certification also. Project Swayam also involves peer group interaction and discussion forum where you can clarify your doubts. And it is also very rightly said that Swayam is a hybrid model of delivery that aids to the quality of classroom teaching. And this involves the massive open online course, which we call it as MOOCs. So what actually is this MOOCs? It is a free online course that is available for everyone to enroll. And it provides an affordable and flexible way to learn new skills, advance your career, and deliver quality educational experiences. So that was about MOOCs and Swayam. And for today, in the afternoon session, I will be demonstrating on a topic, viruses, which comes under the General Microbiology of Second Semester BAC Biotechnology course under the prescribed syllabus of Manipur University. And of this COVID-19 pandemic. So, all the schools, colleges, institutions have been closed down, they will shut down since the last part of March. Since then, the University Grants Commission and Mission Economic Development MSRD are devising us to go online classes, ETC learning process, to conduct ETC learning process. So many of us, many of the colleges, many of the institutions have taken up this program, ETC learning process. So among this ETC learning process, One of the say, uh, project is called Swayam and UC books are very important 
he has a big call on Dr. Ishwari that it was launched in Zone 17 by the Honorable Kashkent of India. So we have to see what we have to about swim to video form. So now India is now going to digital, digital learning, uh, digital India. So because of this COVID-19 pandemic, see, uh, now the teachers, as well as students, they have become very much aware of this online teaching. And last year it is increasing with the OIT. So it will continue. As well as our teaching process is also to be continued for the sake of our uh, students. Yeah, how are you all? Besides the COVID-19 pandemic, she is among the non-sick children. Come on, I'm going to be my MC. 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 Hi, this is the last day. I'm going to be my MC. I'm going to be my MC. Online class. I'm going to be my MC. I'm going to be my MC. Thucydides 
the great historian of the Peloponnesian War. In describing a plague in Athens, he wrote in 430 BC that only those who had recovered from the plague could nurse the sick because they would not contract the disease a second time. Almost 2,000 years passed before the concept was successfully converted into medically effective practice. The first recorded attempts to induce immunity deliberately were performed by the Chinese and Turks in the 15th century, wherein dry crusts derived from smallpox pustules were either inhaled into the nostrils or inserted into small cuts in the skin, a technique called variolation. Then in 19... sorry. Then in 1718, Lady Mary Wortley Montagu, the wife of the British ambassador to Constantinople, observed the positive effects of variolation on the native population and had the technique performed on her own children. The method was significantly improved by the English physician Edward Jenner in 1798. Intrigued by the fact that milkmaids who had contracted the mild disease cowpox were subsequently immune to smallpox, which is a disfiguring and often fatal disease, Jenner reasoned that introducing fluid from a cowpox pustule into people might protect them from smallpox. So to test his idea, he inoculated an eight-year-old boy with fluid from a cowpox pustule and later intentionally infected the child with smallpox. As predicted, the child did not develop smallpox. So Jenner's technique of inoculating with cowpox to protect against smallpox spread quickly throughout Europe. However, for many reasons, including a lack of obvious disease targets and knowledge of their causes, it was nearly a hundred years before this technique was applied to other diseases. The next major advance in immunology is the induction of immunity to cholera. ซีกนอเลสมาภาษาซีเตเลตาเลกิอาซีเปนเอมซีซีซีเซสเตอร์ไมอินโดซาซินาโมควาลุนเตอร์ตัวตัวเซียมะกาเรคอร์ดิ่
total blood volume. Internal transport in animals is facilitated by circulatory system. Internal transport includes transport of oxygen, water, food, hormones, etc. to different body parts. So body fluids, that is blood and lymph, transport all these elements throughout the body. Dear student, today I am going to deliver a topic women economic empowerment through microfinancing a case study of Infant East and Infant West in the district of Manipur. The introductions, origins of the resources problem, poverty elevation program has been implemented in India. A huge amount of social and financing investment has been made. A program where based on top to down approaches. When you look to the transparent disability relevance, studies is related to the subject of sociology, studies related to the subject of economics, study is also related to the subject of political science. The objective of study to identify the work pattern of the survey group to analyze the economic empowerment of women through self-help group to suggest some remedial measures to improve the self-help group to offer suggestions for betterment of women empowerment through microfinance Good evening. I see class nine farmers in the city of Fibam. You sing about the map and put down the poem, but I'll be the openness in the name. You see, they never hear him among the Aiba Pasami day. You sing about the map and you fool the way I do a missing of the map and more gather like he did. Eva was on power, I will see. Maggie to the Pomoko Namani. Mahal with the past of the day. Maggie walking on the communion. Many presided his son, son, I am Barbara de Nere, Manana Tunkaya, Punkiba, Mananda, Han Boyna, to start with Sinos and Mapan from Drum Rida, in Paramus of Sinus, Kifunda, but a site again, site academy, or new delay punky. Nasi Pavada of Nastara, a Muslim drama, Mapuna, like that form. Good morning. Let us discuss about the Gandhi's film in Yasa. Gandhi did not believe that man is a mere biological entity or a mere psychochemical combination. For him, man is a spiritual entity. Gandhi also believed the presence of God in man as such, man is divine by nature. For him, God, God is neither in heaven nor down below, but in everyone. And God, this makes man a spiritual being. The presence of divinity, according to Gandhi, varies from person to person. That is why he refuses to worship any person or thing. Man, according to Gandhi, is conscious of his divine nature, which is the most important feature of human nature. He asserted that if the divine elements present in every man are used in the right manner, man can bring heaven or paradise on the earth. Good morning students. Today I am going to talk on the topic asset and basis and overview of different concepts. The plan of the topic is introduction, then two objectives and three different concepts of asset and basis. Number four, competition of different concepts and the last one is conclusion. Our recognition of some chemical substances as acid and certain others as bases rest on some experimental facts about these substances. Acid and bases possess some opposite properties. Acid and bases have been recognized by their effect on organic dye stuff. For example, acid turns blue litmus red and the bases turn red litmus blue. Acid counters the effect of bases and vice versa. The process being called neutralization. Some acid liberate hydrogen and reacting with some metal ions. 
There are several so-called theories of acid and bases, but they are not really theories, but merely different definition of what we choose to call an acid or a base. Since it is not only a matter of definition, but theory is more right or wrong than any other and we use the most convenient theory for a particular chemical situation. Which is the most useful theory or definition of acid and bases? Now I discuss on the topic traditional handicrafts of Monsanaka tribes reaching the underreach of Sanjan district, Manipur. Man has to depend on a biotic environment, Robert 1985, as well as the biotic environment, is he can't map himself absolutely free from the influence of the environment. Environment is the surroundings of an organism such as air, water, land, necessary resources, flora, fauna, and other interrelationship with one another. Sometimes you may get in the sometimes it may happen, you shouldn't do. Chanan Sajila is what in Yam so the Nam can the pen in a view in a set dog and handle in the kind of the well, the way of Chachana. I don't know, Masagi, uh, a jet to Masagi, Jun the city of Bipos, repeatedly pass on a view. Repeatedly, I have you for the Venice, Mahu, the same superpower. On capitalism, we are able to consider many nations on the world that operate under a system of economic and political standards. According to Karl Marx, according to Karl Marx, social class detected one social life will stop never. Karl Marx contribution to sociological theory, session objective. To learn about the contribution of Karl Marx to sociological theory. Number two, to analyze the different sociological theories of Karl Marx and its validity. Through Karl Marx sociological theory on capitalism, we are able to consider many nations of the world that operate under the system of economic and political standards. According to Karl Marx, social class detected one's social life. 
His major and crucial contribution to sociology was the material concept of history. He argued that people's experiences are shaped by their environment and that their action as well as the behavior. In which the minerals are arranged that each is supposed to react with the magnetic fluid to produce the one placed below it. This series is called Bowen's Reaction Series. The Bowen's Reaction Principle shows how it may... Good morning students. Today I'll be speaking on the topic Crystallization of Magma, Bowen's Reaction Principle. The crystallization of magma gives rise to igneous rocks of diverse types. According to a study of Dr. N. L. Bowen on the crystallization of a basaltic magma as it is cooled, a reaction series can be established in which the minerals are arranged that each is supposed to react with the magnetic fluid to produce the one placed below it. This series is called Bowen's reaction series. The Bowen's reaction principle shows how a magma may solidify as a single type or may give rise to many rock types. In the crystallization process, to maintain equilibrium, early form crystals react with the liquid and thus the composition of the early form mineral changes. Bowen's reaction series. In Bowen's reaction series, there are two parallel series, discontinuous series and the continuous series. Hello students. Today I'll be talking on the topic social survey which is part of the syllabus for fifth semester home science students. I'll be discussing on meaning, importance and objectives. Meaning, the term survey has two constituents, sur or sor, which means over and ver or ver, which means to see. Accordingly, the word survey means to look over or to oversee and as such social survey implies social overlooking or social advancement. According to Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, survey is quote, a critical inspection often official to provide exact information often a study of an area with respect to a certain condition or its prevalence. For example, a survey of the school, unquote. And I am ready to discuss on personality. Introduction. The word personality has been wide and significant while education is concerned with an all-round development of personality of child. It means different things to different people. It indicates traits, characteristics, and the other suggests one's mood and manner. The word personality is origin in Greek word, persona, meaning marks. In psychology, personality is a reflection, the consistency for style or style in an individual's behavior. Personality refers to special characteristics, abilities, emotional, attitude, social traits, interests of a person, meaning the word personality has been its origin in Greek word persona, meaning marks, and the personality was considered synonyms with appearance. Personality is behavior in a situation. It can be mathematically described as P equal to B into E, higher. P equal to personality, B equal to behavior, E equal to environment. And now I am going to deal the topic on renal failure, acute or chronic. Introduction. Kidney or renal failure is the loss of the abilities of the kidney to remove excess fluid and electrolytes as well as waste from our body. Acute renal failure happens quickly and suddenly. Chronic renal failure happens gradually over a period of weeks, months or years immune kidney diseases 
example lupus, urinary tract infection, toxins such as alcohol, heavy metals and cocaine, malignant hypertension, transfusion reaction, scleroderma, diseases that may block blood flow to the kidneys, cholesterol deposits that block uh, blood flow in the kidneys, then multiple myeloma, decreased blood flow due to very low blood pressure which result from burn, dehydration, hemorrhage injury, septic shock, serious illness, surgery. Dear students, today we are going to discuss the topic palynology. Palynology applies to the pollen and spores of the embryonic plant. Palynology is the branch of science which is concerned with the study of pollen, spores and certain microscopic planktonic organisms in both living and the fossil form. The term palynology was coined by Hyde and William 1944. It is associated with the plant science as well as with the geological sciences, notably those aspects dealing with stratigrapher, historical geology and paleontology. Palynology has also application in archaeology, forensic science and crime investigation and allergy studies.